on me again. Um, I thought I would show you a video of my next build and uh, this is what it's going to be. It's uh, Airfix's um, venerable Feistless Torch uh, in 172nd scale. Um, I can't remember when the moulds for this were originally produced but I'm pretty sure that it was in the 70s. Um, I'm not sure whether I've ever built this before. If you have a look at the back we can see how we can finish this aircraft. So the one we got there is uh, North Africa, um, 1942, and the other one, this one here, with the um, different tones of green camo, is um, Eastern Front, 41 to 42. I will be doing this one. I prefer my German aircraft in this uh, splinter pattern. So let's have a quick look at the parts and uh, we'll then have a um, quick look at the decals and instructions. Okay, so we have the wings here. Um, I think this is the underside, I don't know whether this is the top side of, uh, not of this particular wing, but the other one. Here we have the other half of the wings. So what it would appear is some of the holes haven't fully formed in that other piece. Uh, so I'll have to drill those out. Fuselage, halves, there's the one, there's the other one, got some crew here, uh, got the tail and these look like counterweights I think, struts, here we have um, more struts for the wings, it's obviously going from, I think that's going from the body and that will go to the wing. Um, not sure what those are. I've got a bit of sunlight in my eye, so I can't quite see. That looks uh, interesting, doesn't it? Bent out of shape and whatever. I might try and recreate those in some metal wire if I can. That's the cockpit floor. Uh, we've got the air intake. Um, and we've got the seats there. Finally, we've got the propeller. Sometimes with the airfix kits, uh, the older ones, the propellers are pretty naff, but this one looks as if it would be okay. Uh, and those are the wheels. Yeah, those are the wheels. From this from this position, they look like some. I don't know what they look like, but they didn't look like wheels. This is what's put me off doing the um, airfix um, storage in the past. Uh, very little or no framework on the uh, canopy so a lot of reference work to uh, get something to put on that to, to get the framework. Decals look nice. Just seven steps to build this. Uh, you've got the crew compartment cockpit, uh, then the propeller, then putting the cockpit and propeller in the um, fuselage. This is where the two uh, variants differ. There's a machine gun in the, the um, North African one and there isn't in the um, Eastern Front. Here's the, um, the wings and the, is they, are they aerolons or whatever? And they're also showing putting the tail on at this point as well. And then we've got those uh, counterweights as I say. You've got either a skid or a rear wheel. Um, oh, so those other parts were for the um, were for the undercarriage. Had long legs, didn't it? And then you got that uh, final part with that V shape that I said looked out of shape. And I might try and um, make that out of uh, some wire or something. So there you go, guys. Um, this one isn't much of a filler build. It's one I want to take my time over. As I say, I, I don't recall ever building this before, so um, I want to uh, make a good job of it. I'm hoping that the kit will behave itself. Sometimes with these older Airfix kits, they are um, builds that really do drive you up the wall. Uh, for instance, the, um, is it the widgeon that they do, the seaplane. Um, I wouldn't touch that with the barge pole. I've tried it twice and the um, the kit parts are just awful, the fit of them is just ridiculous so I would never touch that. 
It's Monday, so I hope your week has started well. Um, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll have an update on this soon.